God has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey, everybody. I uh, hope you're still staying safe, and I hope you enjoyed the uh, Resurrection, Resurrection Sunday on the 12th of April. Uh, some of you call it Easter, but uh, Resurrection Sunday. The whole purpose is that we celebrated the Christ uh, being raised from the dead. And, you know, I've got this scripture right here is a good one to, to go with the importance of that. Uh, of Christ rising from the dead, and by faith we believe that. Because, you know, you, you have to have, all of us live by faith in many ways, in what, more ways than one. Uh, we have faith that when we drive on the trap to the traffic light, if we got green, we have faith, or we believe in by faith, <laughs> or obedience, that the people will, that had the red light, will stop. And unfortunately, there's some people who don't stop. There's people who give us directions and we give them a benefit of the doubt and have faith that they, they point us in the right direction. There's people who have been training us, teachers through our life teaching us, parents. We, we have faith in things, but we're talking about really just having faith in God is the most important thing in life. And we have faith that Christ rose from the dead. Now, what I'd like to read to you is scriptures 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Read this because this gives you the importance of Christ being rose from the dead. It says in verse 12, 1 Corinthians 12, I think I'm going to read from 12 to 23. It says, Now, if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, How say among some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? Hey, 2020 people saying that too, right? <laughs> but if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? Mm. And if Christ be not risen, then our preaching vain and your faith is also vain. Yea, and we are found false witnesses of God. Wow. Because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ whom he raised not up if so be that the dead rise not. Interesting. For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. Ye are yet in your sins. And don't tell me nobody said they ain't not in their sins. Because the Bible said all have sinned. And it comes short of the glory of God. And anybody listening to this video, those everybody you see, to include yourself, when you look in the mirror, have fallen short in one place at one time or another. And in some cases, still falling short. <laughs> hey, we all got to keep tracking. It's a daily thing, you know what I mean? God bless you on that. Verse 19. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all most miserable. <laughs> but now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruit of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all died, meaning the original sin, we all came from Adam. The Bible says every seed produced after his own kind. So we all came from Adam. But verse 22 says, If so in Christ shall all be made alive. <laughs> 
And that's, let me see, verse 23. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruit, afterward they that are Christ at his coming. The point is that the, what we call Resurrection Sunday, and some call Easter Sunday, we had the chance and we did celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And I'm saying this, that's important because like the scripture said, if he hasn't risen, we're false witnesses. If he hasn't risen, we're still in our sin. And if he hasn't risen, we don't have eternal life. But you know what? We got it because of what Christ did. And that's what we celebrated for uh, on the 12th of April. So this is part B. We're going to get into the foreshadowing, which was on the Passover in Exodus 12. I had to do some voiceover, some of the recording, because it was just uh, distorted. Uh, bear with me on that. But the bottom line is, let's get into the Word. I hope you enjoy the Word. I hope you're staying safe. And I hope you sit there and keep those distance from people. I hope you're wearing masks. Not only you, I'm Make sure you encourage those people that work at the, the different fast food restaurants in the grocery store. Just encourage them to wear the mask. The more we can, can contain this, this contagion, the better off all of us will be. All right, so let's, let's keep on trying to do the best we can, the social distancing, and make sure you hear from God as far as what you do. Do the best you can. That's all we can do. Unfortunately, some people went to services on the 12th. Uh, and some pastors have died, and some congregation members have been infected. Um, be wise, and make sure you hear from God. And let's keep praying for those people who are currently fighting for their life. Because we're talking well over 27,000 people have died. Uh, over 600,000 people have been infected. That's a lot of people. And those people that have been affected, they're fighting for their life. So let's keep them in prayer. Let the church lift up. Lift up our country in prayer. Lift up our leadership in prayer. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in part C. God bless. Bye-bye. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, this month shall be unto you the beginning of the month. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Amen. Like the New Year's, ain't it? Yeah, that's almost like the New Year, ain't it, Elder? He basically saying April or that time frame is the beginning of the year for them. Go ahead, brother. John. Speak unto all the congregation of Israel, saying. In the tenth day of the month, they shall take to thee every man a lamb. Amen. Who is that foreshadowing, Brother Jackson? Dave Anson. Come on now. <laughs> this is a voice recording over the uh, distorted voice. According to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. Every man, according to his eating, shall make your account for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. You shall take it from the sheep or from the goats, and you shall keep it up <clears throat> until the fourteenth day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening and they shall take all the blood and strike it on the two side posts on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they should eat it amen that's that blood now right there's that blood in, in other words that that, that that and they it basically covered that door because of the sacrifice of that animal and that blood, that lamb, like you said, represents Jesus Christ. So therefore, that blood represents Jesus Christ. 
Amen. 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 And I'm just showing that that's that's a powerless thing. Go ahead, keep going. I'm sorry. This is a force over due to the uh, distortion. Verse eight. And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire, and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor salted at all with water, but roast with fire, his head with his legs, and with the pertinence thereof. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. And that which remaineth of it unto the morning, ye shall burn with fire. And thus shall you eat it, with your lions girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And ye shall eat it in the haste. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both male and and man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. Amen. Amen. They are ready to go. Hey, look, hey, Elder, God, gods of money, God of uh, uh, of of idolatry. Look, he shut anything that we highlighted or people have put before God. He shut it down. He done, shut, he done shut almost everything down. Look, those who love and worship sports, I'm not going against sports. We love sports. But if, if, if you put it above, above God, you're missing the boat. Huh? Come on now. Amen. Hey, look, if some of those people worship the jobs, they said, I, I shut it down. I'm shutting it down. Huh? Everything that you try to highlight, anything, anything that you want to exalt above me, I'm shut it down. I like that. Then he said, he said, execute against those. He said, against all the gods of Egypt, all the gods that keep us in bondage. Hey, Vegas got to be shut down. Vegas can't handle this. Huh? Come on, come on now. If if if, if 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 prostitutes out there performing a service, they gotta shut it down. They say, "Man, I, I can't, I can't take you right now. I can't take you right now. You might give me the virus. You might kill me." If the pimp is sitting there saying, "You better go out in that street and hustle, man," I ain't look. You 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 must be crazy. <laughs> what good is me being dead? <laughs> And have a virus. <laughs> How am I gonna make some money for you that way? Come on, y'all. So you said all those things. Did you see that? Does that make sense, Elder? It's going against Man, all the things. That really happened. Ain't it though? This is going on. It actually happened. God is. God closed everything down. Woo! I mean, you're lying to me. Wall Street. Hey, Brother Jackson. Wall, Wall Street is Street. shut down. People are losing billions of dollars a day. They're losing billions, man. They're losing a lot of money. They gotta do that. They gotta do that stuff virtually. They can't come in that. They can't come into Wall Street. <laughs> Ain't nobody making the money no way. Come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> and even even the, even the sense is not to put it down to the president in this, but the fact is, when you if you was boasting. Of 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 the economy and of the jobs. Well, look what look what happened. Look how quick right. that, that. It's like look how quick that stuff can just come down. If 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 Lord, you, you you see what I'm saying, bro Jackson. He's yeah. trying to say is that didn't put you there. <laughs> right. That didn't put you there. If you're boasting on that, if you're holding on that, if you're holding on this, if you're holding on that, then you're gonna realize. I would take that away then. You need to recognize you got to look up because I'm God and there's no other God beside me. Amen? I mean, I mean, 
It was, he was boasting that this is the best. I ain't mad at him or nothing because he is who he is, but he was boasting that this is the best economy that we had in years and years, right? Right. And then all of a sudden, he was losing billions of dollars at a time and just absolutely nothing he can do. Come on! So he can't boast, he can't boast that anymore. So when he looked, when he said the other day that he was going to go to church, where else can he go? Where else can he go? He can't go to the economic uh, 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 specialist or uh, experts. It can't happen. I mean, everybody we're aware. Yeah, this thing is crashing really bad. Yes, sir. What can we do about it? Yes, sir. We do pray. You're saying God and, don't, and God, don't, don't get me. God will say anything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. So I ain't, so look for those who listen to the video. We're not putting them down. Okay, you know some of y'all said we can't say I ain't talking about them in that sense. I'm talking from the spiritual sense that anything that anybody to include you, if you depend on anything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, he gonna shut it down. And you have to look up to him for deliverance, and that's what's going on right now. If you pray, if you if you exalt your job above God, he'll shut it down. If you exalt yourself in ministry, if your ministry building, if your church affiliation, if your denomination, if you want to put that above me, I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna shut it down. Come on now. Woo! That is happening right now. <laughs> that is, and that's what this. And so, as somebody want to say, and this is why it's called Resurrection Sunday because it's a Passover, and the Passover you need to understand what happened. That yeah. was what God was executing His judgment on the greatest nation at that time, called Egypt. Yeah. Egypt is so. If y'all think about it, Egypt, Brother Jackson was so powerful, even the technology today, we can't understand how they did what they did. Huh? Uh -huh. We, we don't know how they made those pyramids, how they got those uh, rocks, <laughs> those stones in there, how they cut those stones so perfectly. It's almost like a machine had to do it. But we, yeah. we so it was that, it, you know what, that's almost like, God is like, I'm gonna let all these, these these pyramids, these artifacts, they I want them even to stand for day today, just to let everybody know, God, I <laughs> <laughs> shut them down, <laughs> bro, Josh. You see, what I'm saying, he even let you know you can't even you we can't even figure out how they did what they were doing, but the Bible said he shut them down. He shut him down, and he did. That was just to me, Elder. That's just like a uh, what you call a memorial. I think that we, we we debate whether or not the Bible is legitimate, but the reality of it is that it proves itself every day. That's that, it. That the experience of man validates the scripture. Come on now. He shut it down. So, well, no, he did. He didn't do that. That that ain't real. That ain't historical. Well, what about what's happening right now? <laughs> 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 And he's shutting us down right now. Doesn't that validate Woo. what happened what was written in that book? It didn't only happen a thousand years ago. It's happening today. 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 I mean, the whole world is shut down because of something that God has allowed. Did you can't even see? You can't even see, man. Matter of fact, an invisible angel. They're so small, you can't even see them with the naked eye. You got to get a microscope. Get a microscope and you can see the enemy that we're fighting. But nonetheless, it's one of the effective uh, I, I mean, uh, every series we've ever had in, globally. Yes, sir. It is highly, it, it's, it's insidious. It's, 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 it, it, uh, the president called it evil. Yeah, it's evil. It's, it's evil. Yeah. yeah. It's exactly what it needs to do. Yeah. That's I mean, it. Yeah. Yes, sir. I got, I got, hey, I got head up a little he, 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 he's demonstrating it. I mean, even we take one of our most powerful naval vessels, Brother Jackson, one of our most powerful aircraft carriers. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. Had, had people walk out of a basketball court. A game, game going on. Shut it down.
Huh? Amen. When we sit there and try to say we all powerful, we got all our act together, we got the best medical, we got all that. Where is it? Right now, it's struggling. It's trying to say, it's calling for help. Help! <laughs> nurses, nurses and doctors, there's those who don't want to believe in God. They've got to come and face this stuff every day. They say, I need Jesus. I'm just telling you. This ain't no, this ain't no gang. God is trying to say, and this is probably not a foreshadow, because there, there is an end time thing. It's gonna happen, but this 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 is getting you an example, brother Jackson. It ain't gonna be pretty, and it ain't gonna be based on your power that you have. You can have the best army, you can have the best, have the most wealth, and it doesn't matter when you're gonna fight against God. I mean, we are, we are the most powerful nation on the planet. <laughs> the United States of America is the most powerful nation on the planet. And we've been brought to our knees. Woo! <laughs> Come on, y'all. Y'all got to see, I mean, this is this, this is a witness. And somebody said, they ought to sit there and say, well, how can this stuff be? It's, it's happening. It's happening. We, we boasted we had the best, Brother Jackson. We boasted. Now we, we as a nation, not to put, look out, and look, for the people listen, look, we are not putting our nation down. We're telling us, though, that my nation is not above my God. My nation is not above my God. Huh? I put it this way. This nation is not above the kingdom of God. Come on, we, sir. We Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's, it's the most powerful kingdom that ever been, I mean, it's ever been, it is, it is the, it is the kingdom. <laughs> yes, sir. And, and it will last when every other nation is turned to dust and, 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 and refuge. Which they will be, I mean, the kingdom of God is everlasting. Yes, sir. And we see the power of it right now. Yes, sir. We see the power of it right now, man. It's like, that is craziness, ain't it? But I mean, I had not thought to the extent that you're saying of the impact that this thing has actually had. The world has been shut down. The world. The world, y'all. The world. Well, and look, and, and, and it's causing the world to look up. To look up. Because they, they, when, when you, that's, when, that's how things happen anyway. When you realize that you can't depend on your own ability, you need to look up. And all those people to sit there and you know, like, look, we ain't getting too many angels jumping up and down saying, hey, don't don't bring God in the mix. Uh-uh. They all shut up right now because we ain't got to hear it. We don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear it. <laughs> and look, and I don't think they want to speak it right now. Not right now. <laughs> How's burning? Ship sinking? No. What, what is this God y'all talking about? And that's why I'm saying is where this church is to rise and shine and say, look, we got a deliverer coming. This ain't over. It may look hard. It may look bad. But we're going to hold faith. We're going to hold on to our confession that Jesus Christ is Lord. And he's going to defeat this. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, so I, want, yeah, I want you to think that and bring it in perspective. Because I think that's what God is leading us to do. Let you take a look at this. And, 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 and all these people were in their houses, Brother Jackson, at night. You know, when the deaf angels were all in their homes. And they had to, they had to put, that, put that blood over their homes. So that they get that covering. Now, now, I don't know about you understanding right now. But see, you got the blood of Jesus. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just kind of reiterating. Man, hey, Elton, here's another one, too. And we're talking about the, the black community. A lot of us used to depend on our mama, our grandmama, to do the praying for us. <laughs> uh, the enemy said, I, I, I'm going to shut that down. Uh, you you gonna have to pray for yourself. You gonna have to look for me yourself because I'm gonna keep you away from Grandmama. She gonna pray from you from the other side of the door. She gonna pray for you at the house, but you gonna pray yourself. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Woo! Yeah, man. It's happening. I mean, it, it, it just is a, a very biblical. We call it proportions of. It's a wake up 
call. It's a wake up call. Elvis, it's the same thing too about the people to run to the church building. You run, you run into the church to pray. You, uh, oh, I shut that down too. I shut that down, and, I, and 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 I'm gonna go ahead and make you pray to me. You need to, you don't need to run to no building. You don't need to run to no man. You need to run to me, huh? And and the churches who the churches to defile that we already. I think you said, Elder, that they said in the news. There's some churches where pastors have died. There's churches where congregation members have died because they sit there and say, "Oh, he ain't gonna bother me. He ain't gonna hurt me." This, well, I guess some of those pastors who dead now saying, "Wow." Lord, what happened? I thought I was covered by the blood. You was covered by the blood. That's why you're here right now. <laughs> if, if it wasn't for the blood, you wouldn't be talking to me right now. <laughs> but I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you to pray those people. I told you to tell them to look at me. Because that's where the connection is at. The connection is not with people. The connection is not with the building. Woo, Run to the pastor for covering. You know, run to run to him, and and and, and to have the pastor of the congregation to die, be one of the first ones to die. That's bad, ain't like wow. That's, man, that's talking, ain't. Well, you, know, you that's God saying, come here first. You come said here. you said it one time. One of our state, you said, "Judge begins in the house of the Lord." Amen, man. Did it, you not it, say it, that? It has. It has happened. Woo! It has happened. It is happening right now, actually. Uh, because there's a lot of things that the way we go about doing church is changing because like right now we can still send in and support but a lot of people in the churches that like mega ministries the people don't even have money to support uh -uh. they're out of jobs they're out of work yeah the 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 cost of the infrastructure is still overwhelming it's they overwhelming can't maintain yeah. Anymore. yeah so a lot of these guys this goes on a little bit longer they will have to file bankruptcy because they're not going to be able to meet the, the financial needs of the organization because of the size of the infrastructure. Hey, look, Elder, so, I, Elder, I think even with a small church, though, even if you take Sandy Valley, they, they got they got payments they got to make. They got payroll they got to make. They got insurance they got to pay. Right, Elder, right Brother Jackson? There, there's some finances that has to be covered. Yeah, and some right. of those buildings out have mortgages on them. And 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 they they're like, whoa, wait a minute, that 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 yeah, pastor's yeah. paycheck was dependent on that congregation. Yeah. Not on that. You got some that's full time, some part time. I ain't talking about the part time ones, but even the part time ones, if they sometimes the, the, the jobs too. Some of these jobs out here, right? How many? Look at how many people filed for unemployment? Sixteen million people. Six, 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 sixteen million. It was six million one one day, and then you know one week and another. That, that's a lot of people. A lot so, that happened, but God allowed it. And that, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people say that God sent this pandemic, and I don't think He sent it, but I think He allowed it. Right, right. That's because, what I think it allowed it. Yeah, we definitely. I, he didn't send it, but he allowed it. And he told you, if you depended on, on on other things other than him, this is what can happen. Yep. You can sit there and say, you, a, go ahead. Is it the current? Is the chance was to turn to him? Yeah. Is it prompting to turn to him? Yeah. And to be saved. So that's and so for me now, it, it provides a great backdrop for for us. It provides a backlog like we ain't had in years. I know. We preach the gospel. I know. I mean, we we down there are like hurting, man. Some people are this close. I mean, you know, they're already dead. These people are dead. And, 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 and someone was sick. If there's going to be some stuff, there's no treatment. So if God don't deliver you, you're through. It, if, it, if God it, does not bring it, you out of this, there's no hope for you. And that, so that, it, go ahead. As tragic as it is and as, as hurtful as it is, it still provides an opportunity for us to preach salvation. Exactly. Preach and salvation. Exactly. In other words, I think we're witnessing by the fact that we 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 keep looking up to where our help comes from. You know, Amen. that keeping our testimony is where yes. where it matters. You know, I want to share. I had a friend, my, my, my other clo close close friend that I grew up with, we played in the band together and stuff like that. He called me a couple of days ago, <laughs> and he told me that one of our friends literally died wow he died 
the coroner and his mom were in the room with him. Mm. The, the young man that died. Young man. And yeah, he was he was just about my age. He was too young. <laughs> but he had died. He was pronounced dead and the coroner was there to think about his long about the son of death and all that. Then the boy came back. Wow. He started preaching again. Yeah. Then they wrote him off as being dead, but in the midst of that, and I know this guy, this guy turned his life over to the Lord. And he came and the Lord brought him back. There's so a testimony. Then, this, this is who we serve, and this is the guy that we serve. On that day, he got up, man. I mean, wow. <laughs> we celebrate his resurrection that day. That really happened. And that's something that I think being a foundation of our belief system is something that we really have to spend time meditating on. Yeah. Believe it. Yes, Learn right. to believe it. Make your mouth speak it until your mind can receive it. The reality of it is Jesus Christ of Nazareth got up from that grave. He covered death. Yes. And he is able, by his spirit dwelling in us, we are able to do the same. See, if his spirit is alive, you to quicken your mortal flesh. Yes, sir. If the spirit of raised Jesus from the dead is alive, you it will quicken your mortal flesh. Yes. But it's something that your mind still got to be able to receive. You do.